What's up guys? Today I'm going to run you through a quick little project on a t-shirt here. We're going to put a Tinkerbell on here with a name and I'm just going to show you a quick little way to make it simple and to make it um, pop and stand out as well as look as crisp and good. So let's get started. The first thing I've done is uh, I've taken my Tinkerbell and uh, I drew it on a normal piece of paper, just regular 8x11 paper and I took it and I cut it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few couple pieces of tape and uh, I'm going to roll them into little sticky things to put on the back of my uh, paper there with the Tinkerbell. This is, if you don't have spray adhesive, this is a good way to do it. I do have some, I just, this paper might stick and it'll rip. I don't want that, so I'm going to use a little bit of tape. So we're going to tape it on there and I'm going to put it in a little bit off to the side here. I'm going to leave space to do the name right over here. Uh, in this case, the name is Michaela, so we're going to leave space to do all of that. Um, the reason we cut it out is, is this gives us a clean, crisp background cut, and it gives you a good reference point as to where everything goes and how big it should be. So we're going to start off by taking a little bit of blue here, a little Createx uh, deep blue here, and we're going to lay a background out. So. I'm just going to start off by laying a soft shadow. Again, this is paper, so you don't want to go too heavy because it will saturate on paper and you get a nasty run on the shirt. You don't want that. So, do a little bit of this. And that'll make it sit into the drawing. And we're going to go really lightly and go around the rest of it. Just lightly, lightly. Give this a big aura here. The reason you use deep blue is because it gives it kind of a purpley haze when you spray it over the pink. So, just a little bit of color blending there. And we're going to lay down a little bit of line here, a little bit of a star. This is Tinkerbell, so we're going to lay a little bit of a pixie dust trail there. And we're going to lay a star down over here. Couple dark ones, something like that, and that's about right. And this gives us the bottom base for our name right there. So next, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of uh, fluorescent purple. Just gotta switch colors right here. We're going to take a little bit of fluorescent purple next, and um, we're just going to lightly go over the inside of the blue there. And if you notice that it turned that blue really nice, deep purple, and we'll fade off to the light purple there, and you know, maybe give you some tones and some hot pink. That'll pretty much do that. Okay, so next we're going to load up some white. like this and just really 
lay your colors down. It's going to look so much better and so much brighter. Now we're going to take some green. And we're going to color in her dress using uh, Createx Bright Green here. So. Go ahead and color that in. You never want to just fill it in all the way either. You want to give it some shading. You want to get the dark spots. You want to get the light spots. And you don't want to just color it all one color. That, that's boring. You know, you don't want boring. You want something that's toned, that shape. Skin. It's a little bit of peach. And again, you don't want to just fill it all in, you want to give it tones. Next, we'll do the yellow on the hair. Because of the white we put in earlier, it gives it white tones and dark tones. It looks really, really good. So, you know, this is what you want to do right here. Now we're gonna take a little bit of a fluorescent hot pink here, and um, we're gonna just do a little bit of highlighting on the wings. We don't really want to kill that white. That white's really what kind of gives that wing kind of look. But we do want to add some inside. the inside of her skin and stuff. You don't really want to put a really thick line, you just really thin on. Just to let people know what they're looking at. It doesn't have to go everywhere, just for you know, her skin on her laps. You know, get them fingers in there. Take some black, or I'm gonna. Last, I'm gonna take some black, and uh, I'm gonna put the name in and script. Nothing too fancy. It's just gonna be something readable and, and good. And so, right over the arch that we made over earlier, the. Twinkles, the, the fairy twinkles that we made earlier, you know, put the name right over that. It's going to give it a cool background and just something to look at other than the name. Last, we're going to take some white, some pack white. We're just going to give everything just a little bit of highlights. We're going to give the writing some highlights, and that'll pretty much be all she wrote. So, you know, we'll highlight these little.
you guys like it. Uh, I know they'll like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.